Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the topic of process models in the subject of software engineering. Guys, this is a very, very, very important topic uh, because you, you, you know, there are so many, lot many things which are based on this. Okay, so we have basically five process models and about each of them, I'll be explaining in separate, separate videos, but I'm not going to explain about one thing in between i'll tell you what is that so why i'm leaving that also i'll tell you but now let us continue with this video a process model describes how each step in sdlc works sdlc is nothing but software development life cycle you are already aware of that right but don't worry i'll explain about what is sdlc in this video and what are the processes required for each step in sdlc in sdlc we have different steps we have six to seven steps okay and the model of sdlc is not fixed there are six stages in that video there are six stages in this website there are seven stages in this website there are eight stages in this textbook you cannot say the overall thing you have to remember but there is no exact representation for this sdlc okay so how each step in sdlc works and what are the things which are that are required for that step to work that we will be learning in this process models okay we actually have five process models the first one is a waterfall model which is a very simple and the oldest model and second is incremental again in incremental also we have two different things that is incremental and rad rapid application development and next is iterative model in iterative model we have prototype and spiral and next comes evolutionary model and next comes a unified process model okay these are the five uh, process models that we have let us discuss about each of them in detail in the separate separate videos so for five of them i'll make five separate videos don't worry okay now software development life cycle it is very simple thing software development life cycle which is in short called as sdlc which is very 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 important in any software project okay so it refers to the overall process involved in the software development that is right from the scratch to the uh, end product you are developing something for example if you want to construct a house so first initially what is the raw material that is required for the house cement bricks sand there are so many other things I'm not able to re uh, recollect them on time. So we have some raw materials, right? So at the end of the house, after one year or after one and a half year, after the complete house is constructed, will you be able to see that cement or sand or the water or bricks, all those raw materials, will you, will you be able to see? No, right? You'll be seeing the end product. So that is what you are developing a software right from the scratch to the end product that is nothing but the software development life cycle okay so we have so many steps in this and also we have another definition framework that defines a task performed at each step in the software development again the same one okay we have actually six steps uh, about each step i'll explain in detail requirement analysis design implementation or it is also called as development testing deployment and maintenance so first uh, requirements which is very 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 important user requirements are collected from the user and are provided to the development team for example if you took a contract okay of building a house then what you will do you will first go to the buyer that is the person who want to buy your house buy the building your building you'll go to them you'll take all the requirements from them like you'll ask them which type of house you want you want it one floor uh, two floors or three floors or you want a duplex house or you want a normal house what kind of house you want like uh, you want a with cellar or you want with parking or don't no parking car parking all all details you'll ask them right so you'll take all the inputs from them and those inputs you'll be giving it to the development team who is the development team here the people who construct the house okay you'll be giving it to them you are if you are a contractor you will not go and construct the house right obviously uh I don't know what they call the person who built the houses in Telugu they call it as mestri you'll give it to him right so here also the user requirements are collected from the user user is we people who want a house and they are given to the development team development people are nothing but those people who are constructing the house okay so this is about the requirements very easy 
next comes the analysis phase in analysis phase what will happen so once you give all the requirements to the development team that is once you say all the requirements to the people who are constructing the house they will analyze like okay first we have to do the basement then this then this then this uh, then we have to uh, you know uh, first do the bedding watering everything they will be uh you know preparing a they will be preparing an analysis they will be doing an analysis right so here also the documents it they it will document the requirements in the srs documents software requirement specification srs means okay yeah software requirement specification it is written here all the documents are written into the srs document okay next design phase so in design phase what will happen based on the requirement we will be making a design showing how the flow of process will happen so now the person who is building the house will give the design to us will give design in the sense the sequence of process that is that person will say okay first we will start with the basement of the house okay or uh, first we will start with the bore well then basement uh, then we will go for the first floor slab then second floor then sorry second floor then we will uh, you know construct the walls then we will be doing the ceiling then we will be constructing the steps so he will give all the sequence right the same way based on the requirements we will be making a design on showing how the flow of processes will happen okay in design also we have two types here high level design low level design high level design will give the architecture of the software products that is architecture outline low level design will describe how each and every feature in the software project should work so for example uh, don't call me for this house example high level design is nothing but the plan we will have the building plan right that is high level design what is low level design then in each and every room suppose in kitchen how you want the kitchen to be you want a modern kitchen or you want an open kitchen or you want a kitchen with complete cupboards like which kind of cupboards you want you want a, a pull out cupboards or you want a cupboards with drawers so it depends right so uh, the features of each and every room present in the house low level design complete house high level design it will give the architecture of the software product the high level design whereas the low level design about each and every feature present in the software product it will give you the description okay next is the development phase so finally here we are starting construction of the house here also we will be starting we will be writing the code related to the software of course every software software in the sense only it is a collection of programs right so you have to definitely write the program so you have to write start writing the code in the development phase development phase is also called as implementation so it is nothing but the implementation of the design got it next testing which is very very important once the software is ready before sending it to the customer you have to test it that is the testing you will be sending it to the testing team the testing team will be uh, you know checking the software like if there are any errors any bugs any validations any changes all those things will be checked by the testing team for example so okay the the people who are constructing the house they have completed it and directly will they go in and hand over it to the customer no right if in case it is, there is a contractor they will call that contractor who gave that Uh, building contract to them they will show it to them if the contractor says okay then the customer will come otherwise the contractor will you know again he will uh, um, ask like these changes have to be done okay modify it all he will say it the same testing means if there are any changes or errors or any validations any requirements are not meeting in that case the testers will be telling the last is a deployment and maintenance which is very important so once you are done with the software you have tested the software the software is all okay you are ready to deploy the software then deployment is nothing but you are delivering the software to the customer you are giving the software to the customer suppose i came to your company saying that i want a website then you did all the things which i want and you are giving that website to me that is what deployment is and not only giving you have to also maintain it that is when the customer will start using the software the actual problems will come okay then those problems also have to be solved on time that is nothing but the maintenance for example you have constructed the house done and you have given the uh, the constructed house to the customer the customer will move into the house and he will start using the house um, then using the house in the sense living in the house then uh, if if 
he is using some taps if the water is not coming out of tap or if the tap is leaking or if the drainage pipes are leaking or something is happening then once you start using it only then only you will understand right so even though the customer is having any problems also those problems should be solved in time that is what maintenance is deployment is delivering maintenance is clearing the problems of the customer okay this is all about this video i guess that's all let me check yeah that's all next we have the waterfall model uh, so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely 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 try to clear all your doubts for sure thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel if you're still having any doubts